What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today what I got for you guys here is a bunch of news and information about the final DLC chapter for Spider-Man PS4. That of course being Silver Lining. We got a brand new trailer for the DLC which you're seeing on screen right now as well as a look at the new suits that are going to be making its way into this expansion. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Well, like I said, you got the trailer playing on screen right now and I gotta say... It is very intriguing. A lot of things are going on. First of all, just as I speculated, Silver Sable is making her way back into the spotlight. She is pissed off because the Magia and, of course, Hammerhead's family have stolen her equipment and are using it. And then we also see that Hammerhead's got a brand new exoskeleton suit. And I don't see the rest of his body in there. I don't know what's going on. But I guess we'll wait and see what happens in this DLC. I think the one question that I have is what's the new character that we'll be interacting with? I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But we got an official synopsis for Silver Lining and it goes as follows. Silver Sable is back in the action-packed conclusion to the Marvel Spider-Man The City That Never Sleeps. The Deadly Mercenary is back to reclaim her stolen Sable international tech and gear from the city's thugs. But with Police Department Captain Yuri Watanabe on administrative leave after her controversial efforts against crime boss Hammerhead and bigger threats on the horizon, Spider-Man must rely on unlikely allies to keep the city safe from impending calamity. That synopsis really intrigues me, especially the part about Spider-Man having to rely on unlikely allies. Does that mean he might turn to some villains? I don't know, but like I said, that synopsis does really intrigue me. But I know one of the things that a lot of people right now are looking forward to hearing about is the three brand new suits that are going to be making their way to this DLC. And while here they are on screen right now, these are your three final DLC suits rounding out the City That Never Sleeps DLC pack. And from left to right, we got the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Peter Parker suit from the film. Then we got the Cyborg Spider-Man. And then we got the Aaron Eichmann Spider Armor suit. And I gotta say, I do really like all three of these. Especially, I'm pleasantly surprised that the Spider-Verse Peter Parker suit is making its way into the game. Now, looking at stills, it might not do this suit justice. Like, just looking at stills, I still am very excited and it looks awesome. But after having seen Spider-Verse and the way that the animation is... If we're going to translate that with the movement of this suit in game, oh my goodness, I cannot freaking wait to see this suit in motion. Then as for the Cyborg Spider-Man suit, I am actually kind of happy to see this one. I know it's a little goofy, it looks a little weird, but I'm pretty excited to see this one, I can't lie. It was on my suit wish list that I had made a very long time ago, so... This was definitely one of those suits that I wanted to see in Spider-Man PS4 just because it's fun and it's goofy, you know, and it's a little cartoonish. It's out there, but I'm actually pretty happy to see that in this game. And then we have the Aaron Eichmann Spider Armor suit, which does bear a bit of a re resemblance to the Spider Armor Mark III suit, the Ends of Earth suit that we already have in the game. But I still do like it. A lot of people are getting a little fed up with the amount of Spider Armor type suits in Spider-Man PS4. I personally don't mind it. I especially kind of like the metallic look that this suit has. And I'm sure it's going to look phenomenal in photo mode. And the helmet looks really, really cool in my opinion. So, overall, I'm happy with the suit selection that we got for the entirety of the DLC, to be honest. I mean, the first DLC pack is probably the weakest of the bunch. But even then, I didn't hate any of the suits that were added into Spider-Man PS4. But of course, I'm sure some people out there are not very happy considering we didn't end up getting the Raimi suit added to Spider-Man PS4. And it is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Honestly, it's just a suit. You know, it's not going to make or break the game. It doesn't improve the game's quality in any way, shape, or form in terms of gameplay. The game is still as good as it was with or without the Raimi suit. So that's my personal opinion on it. Listen, I really wanted that suit. I was lobbying for it for a very long time. I thought, honestly, there was a pretty good chance that it would have showed up in Spider-Man PS4, but it didn't, and I'm not losing my mind over it. So you shouldn't either. But hey, that's it. That's all the information that we got here for today. Again, Spider-Man PS4 Silver Lining DLC, which is the final chapter in the City That Never Sleeps expansion, will be dropping on December 21st, which is next Friday. And now we kick it to you guys. Let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Which suit are you most excited to try out out of the three new suits shown here for the Silver Lining DLC? We want to hear what you think in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, a positive rating is appreciated. And then you can subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more Spider-Man PS4 and all gaming content. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.